Igbo Area TV on on the Igbo. Now, while what people are doing with Okorosha these days has <laughs> become a laughing stock that um, anyone can just uh, come and ruffle and go. I remember this cannot happen when Okorosha was uh, governor. What I'm about to tell you. The traditional ruler will be taught what Obiano has been teaching traditional rulers in Anambra State. Well, Okorosha and Ezilo Mwanya of Imo State, they exchanged hot words, almost fought uh, during a flight to Abuja. <laughs> hey, um, Ezilo Mwanya is the Obi of Obinu. Uh, Ezekletus Ilo Mwanya. On Sunday, they clashed. While in air peace, uh, <laughs> they were heading to Abuja and they exchanged hot words. Uh, it's like Ezila Moya was telling him, So, this is how you looted Emo State. This is how you wanted to take every part. You know, Okorosha almost seized um, one third of Emo State for himself. You could imagine um, if um, his Uche Mosu was his uh, son in law. Imagine Uche Mosu won. The election by that would guru. Okorosha would have taken the whole of Imo. Before Uchungosu leaves office, they would have taken almost the whole of Imo state, just like Tinubu is doing with Lagos. Uh, thank God, I thank God for Imo state. Um, you could say Supreme Court Governor is not the best, but he has been doing well in terms of uh, seizing properties. Uh, well, another person will come and seize his own. The major thing is to the benefit, let it be to the benefit of Imo people. So, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell icon, let's go there. According to reports, uh, Obi of Obinugu, Ezekletus uh, confronted ex-governor of Imo State who was seated next to him while on board the plane. Perhaps Okorosha did not pay for the flight for him. I don't know. Okorosha, did you buy biscuit? You didn't give him. Anyway, um, according to reports, Ezekretus hit the senator representing Imo State Senatorial District, Okorosha, uh, during uh, the heat of the argument with his ceremonial stick. <laughs> if they hit you with this one or four stick, <laughs> you know what it means? <laughs> well, well, it led to the captain of the flight uh, to separate them, uh, you know, to avoid further brawl and punch me. Uh, you know, Tyson and um, is it Tyson and Douglas or Tyson and uh, Evander? <laughs> hey, not a person to go see. Ezekletus was said to have uh, warned the ex governor to stay clear of all, which is one of Imo State's largest city. It's Russia's planning a new thing in all what is happening uh, it's alleged that the uh, confrontation was as a result of his uh, detronment as emu council of traditional ruler chairman by okorosha in 2011 shortly after okorosha became governor of emu state i said it i said it okorosha did what obiano has been doing to some traditional rulers in anambra you know making their offices as if they are nothing they are they are they are answerable to the governor he pays them he withdraws advocate anyhow he likes okorosha dethroned this guy it's like okorosha did not return him or he was returned by a new governor maybe he hid her and the guy is not happy about it and it was an opportunity in that flight to deal with this guy who has insulted him well according to um reports we had those uh the part that particular after the detriment, their case went to court and a zero Ilo Ecletus lost to the then governor of Korosha of Imo State. In an interview um, in 2017, Eze Kletus stated that the former Imo State governor was like a dictator, alleging that he was playing God in Imo. Uh, well, I that is what I think I saw too. Okorosha was everything. Imagine the kind of property he sees. One person, you know, building status. He, this guy was just running Imo as, oh, oh my God, I pity Imo. 
thank God for what is happening. I'm not thanking God that a Supreme Court governor took over, but the recovery of the properties. After the Supreme Court governor leaves, somebody will also seize from him the one he stole. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, the traditional chief said he has no personal problem with Governor Korosha. Hmm, this is a lie. <laughs> if you say you have no personal problem, you people got to settle. How can Okorosha dethrone you? He said, I have no other option than to honor and respect his person and office. Hmm. I don't think you have, you, yes, you don't have any option. As at that point in time, um, Okorosha has the powers. You can't do anything. They, these guys can arrest traditional chiefs. They don't care about your seat. So according to him, this I've always done, despite his calculated attempt to dishonor me. So Croatia went on, you know, he said this guy was playing God. And despite the respect and the fear, not just respect, the fear of uh, the office of the governor, uh, Croatia went further to uh, continue to rubbish the guy. He said, but I was opposed in all, in all ramification uh, because of the governor then, Okorosha was dictatorial. He's playing God in Imo. Uh, imagine if he's not playing God after ruling Imo. After he uh, didn't lead Imo, he, he ruled Imo. He still wants to impose on them his uh, son in law. And if it's uh, the case of somebody who did well, people will welcome the son in law. But he, he knows his son in law cannot win. He was forcing him. Giving him, you know, they, I watched several videos. They were bragging. And even some people were calling the son-in-law uh, the next governor of Imo. And he believes he's going there because he knows he is not going to win the election, but wuru wuru. And I thank God for the deliverance Imo had. So, according to this traditional chief, Okorosha was playing God. And this was not good for Imo state. It was not good for the image of Imo. So, nobody actually reinstated this um, traditional ruler. Uh, but there are plans currently uh, to reinstate him as the Imo Council of Traditional Rulers Chairman by Governor Hope Uzodema. Oh, no wonder. No wonder. He has to sing Hope Uzodema's praises. Yeah? Well, I don't blame him. Oh. Um, Okorosha is something else. Well, um, somebody said they should have shown decency, understanding that they are leaders. Um, how can they engage in a cough fist in the plan? I should mind that they are leaders and some people are watching. <laughs> we are not yet done with Okorosha's case. Okorosha, according to a report, Okorosha destroyed Imo with China and Biscuit Roads. <laughs> hey, according to Wampa, one Wampa, the roads Okorosha built in Imo State were China and Biscuit Road. You know those days, they tell you, uh, for example, you, you bought a TV or an iron, they tell you, is it Japan? They say, ah, Japan is good. But if you say China, I say, hey, babakwa. Uh -huh. So, according to him, Wampa um, is um, an aide to the governor of Imo State, um, Hope Uzodema. Uh, Mr. Um, Modestus Wampa, he said, Okorosha built biscuits and, <laughs> I don't know whether, Wefas Road. <laughs> Hey, that the roads of Croatia build were nonsense. He has denounced <laughs> Okay, you know, according to Croatia's age, as some on when may would uh, they were they were promoted to Croatia, and he has uh, come out to challenge them. He said that the Croatia's aides claim only portrayed them as bad sportsmen who have 
refused to accept their defeat and have become irrelevant in the state politics, but are seeking every opportunity to malign Governor Uzodema so as to score cheap political points. Of course, that's how politics works. Um, they're always looking for ways to bring down your opponents. That's what happens in politics. So one is laughing at Okorosha's claim. Um, a claim coming from Okorosha's camp that the former governor left no infrastructural legacy after eight years in office as governor. He said that the incumbent administration met no good roads built by Okorosha except for China and Biscuits Road, <laughs> which have all degenerated into death traps across the state. You remember in our uh, one of our shows, we showed you road built by Okorosha uh, that is like, I don't know what, what I, uh, I don't know what they used to be the road. Uh, it's as if someone, it's deliberate. A death, a, what, what I see was a kind of trap on the road. I said, this is roads Okorosha fix and maintain. How comes uh, such bombs, not even bombs, you see something like, um, Gullies in the road. So, according to this guy who is a um, hope was the mass aid, he said, Okorosha's misdeed has caught up with him. He said, there is a saying that those who commit crimes at the dead of the night forget that the morning will soon come. <laughs> he said, I pity the govern former governor, Chief Roshas Okorosha, for being a prisoner of his conscience now, having seen the monumental achievements recorded by the current governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzodema, within one year in office, as against his wasteful uh, lutocratic regime. That's lutocratic has been looting. Hey, Imo, I feel for Imo. I really feel for Imo, and I'm so happy um seeing what is happening not that uh, Uzodema has been working well but the recovery of emo state properties and i was watching i was reading comments on our channel here Ibu area tv and somebody wrote that it is well with Uzodema for destroying the properties that if Uzodema should keep any of the properties okosha has a way of reclaiming them so, but destruction will uh, take it away from him totally. What do you really think? So, according to this, Uzodemas uh, Ed Wampa, he said, Onwe Modo, uh, who is accusing the current governor, um, Okoro, um, Hope was a demo of um, dancing, singing, um, claiming Okorosha's project. He said, What projects? Biscuits roads. Roads that are not worthwhile uh, roads. Why will Ozodema be claiming that? Ozodema has outclassed, outperformed Okorosha just within a year. Okorosha spent eight years. Say who in his right senses will covet a project done by Okorosha, not to talk of claiming it. <laughs> Okorosha projects are not worthwhile, according to him. So why will those of them be um, enjoying the glo Okorosha's glory, as in what projects built by Okorosha? One person said Okorosha was unsuccessfully trying to save face following his uh, disastrous years in office as governor. He added that the former governor is now entrapped by the guilt of his misdeed in office as governor. Said so nobody would have believed that Okorosha appreciates good and durable project, but during his days in office, he forced Imo's people to endure his China or Biscuit roads. He said we were all in Imo then, and we know who is who and who did what. What Okorosha would have called his project in Imo all disappeared into rains even before Okorosha left office as governor. And the reason are obvious Okorosha is uh, famed for substantial projects 
He has no test for excellence. He continued for the avoidance of doubt. The Federal Secretariat Road, um, Dick Tiger Road, Chuku Mangwaha Road, MCC Road, Aba Road, Oweri Strokonisha Road, Oweri Olu Road, and several others are verifiable landmark projects of um, this government. And uh, he cannot allow Korosha to claim them to assuage his uh, guilty conscience. He said, I pity Okorosha. He is passing through a lot. He is a prisoner of his own conscience. Of course, matters of conscience are weighty matters of life. He should swallow his pride and openly tender an unreserved apology to Emo people whose resources he looted unapologetically. He must also endeavor to do restitution for the atheist plunder of Emo state. Okorosha as a senator by Dores has squandered his goodwill and I will have him know that no matter how much he tries, he cannot succeed in distracting Governor Hope Huzadema from delivering sound leadership and development projects in Imo. And you know what pains sometimes? These governors, um, after not, not having performed well in their states, they still manage their way to the Senate. No, it pains almost all the governors that did not do well are still getting to the Senate. It is a very painful thing. I don't know how uh, uh, most of these people will be made to account for mismanaging funds made for the states. And I wonder why people will deliberately just not do things well. And they want you to heal them always. Look at the shape of Imo state. The glory of Imo in the days of Mbakwe has disappeared totally. Someone misruled Imo now. For eight years, Okrocha misruled Imo, according to reports, and still want to impose his son-in-law. What do these guys want? Do they have human conscience at all? Please, viewers, add your comment. Tell us what you think, please. Also, subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon to get an update anytime it drops. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.